All right, Nick, let's talk about the Atlanta Falcons here for a minute. Uh, and let's kind of, you know, just spitball some ideas here. I want to throw some stuff off the Falcons fans and see if it sticks. And, and we'll get into that here in just a minute. I'm sure if you are a diehard Falcons fan, you've heard the stories bouncing around uh, the, the Falcons sphere here for a minute. But, you know, before we get in there, uh, Falcons fans, coming up on championship weekend, a lot of teams in the playoffs, uh, the, the two from the NFC, two from the AFC, you know, you know, who do you want to win? It's, it's really a simple question. Who would you like to see win the Super Bowl? Is it Philly? Is it San Francisco? Is it Cincinnati? Or is it Kansas City? Let us know in the comments below. But uh, Nick, what is this crazy idea that we have for the Atlanta Falcons? Right. So the Atlanta Falcons, obviously, last offseason, they brought in Marcus Mariota. He didn't really work out. They benched him. They went th with the young guy, Desmond Ritter, who ha showed some flashes. But let's be honest, we don't know if Ritter will be the guy for the Falcons or, frankly, anybody. Getting a draft pick is obviously a, a lottery to so if the guy's ever going to turn out. So that has put a lot of rumors going around the rumor mill that the Atlanta Falcons are interested in and potentially targeting none other than Baltimore Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson. And look, we're just not making this up just because it'd be a cool thing to see Lamar Jackson be like the next Mike Vick, Mike Vick 2.0 in Atlanta, although everybody would think they'd be awesome. There's actually some valid reporting and stories behind this. So the Washington Post had a really good piece about this, talking about how people perceive, NFL executives perceive Jackson to be available, and that the executives that the, the Washington Post talked to said that two NFC South teams, they say, are the potential landing spots for Jackson, and that's the Atlanta Falcons. The other one is uh, the Carolina Panthers. And then you take a step back and you look at the odds makers in Vegas. Right now, the Atlanta Falcons have the third best odds to pick up Lamar Jackson in a trade of free agency or however that work out. It would probably be a trade in this case from the Baltimore Ravens. So that's and, and the odds are climbing, by the way. Okay, so you see the reporters. You see Washington Post say that, hey, look, executives think that Jackson could end up in Atlanta. You see Vegas respond by giving uh, the Atlanta Falcons some good odds. And you see some ESPN analysts, former player Chris Candy, coming out and saying, hey, look, I think it makes sense Lamar Jackson has a fit to the Atlanta Falcons. So you see this from all three sides. So you're starting to see some momentum going that there may be something to the Atlanta Falcons doing what they can to acquire Lamar Jackson and bring him in as the quarterback. Obviously, they'd have to give up a long-term deal and give up a lot of draft capital to get a guy like him. Mice, give me your thoughts on what would probably be the biggest trade this offseason if the Atlanta Falcons pulled this off. Yeah, Nick, it might even be the biggest trade like ever. It could be a king's ransom of picks, players, whatever the case may be. A lot of stuff is going to have to exchange hands, but for good reason. Lamar Jackson is an excellent player, an electrifying playmaker. The likes have never been seen. You know, Falcons fans know Michael Vick. We have not seen a player like Lamar Jackson since Michael Vick, and quite frankly, he's better than Michael Vick was. So, you know, that's very interesting to me. Uh, I think this would be an interesting pickup because this team, especially offensively, is kind of set up for a guy like Lamar Jackson. If you look at what he has in Baltimore, they have a good rushing attack. Algier is good. Cordell Patterson in the backfield is good. The tight end position that Lamar covets so heavily is set up with a guy like Pitts is similar to a guy like Mark Andrews, a big uh, red zone receiving threat like Pitts, a dynamic playmaker. Then, here's the kicker, Nick. Probably the best receiver that Lamar's have, have thrown to is like Drake London. Who is as good as Drake London on Baltimore's team? Nobody. Nobody as a, a receiver on Baltimore is as good as Drake London. And then you have some of these other guys maybe pick up another receiver in the draft somewhere. Uh, there's so many options. And they have a pretty decent O-line to boot. Chris Lindstrom. Uh, number one rated guard in the NFL per PFF, 95 grade. McGarry, a very good tackle as well with 86.6 grade. Just the whole line as a whole is very, very solid. Baltimore also has a solid O-line, so those all fit up nicely. But I, I just think that everything is set up nicely, and it makes sense if the numbers match up, if the draft picks match up, and the players match up. And as you said, the Falcons have plenty of cap space. Uh, to go in this year, next year, and the years beyond to make this deal work. So, Nick, to answer your question, I think it makes sense on paper if you look at this as a trade. Yeah, especially when you look at the precedent last season with the quarterback trades with Wilson and Watson. So, obviously, the Atlanta Falcons would probably have to give up multiple first-round picks and some other draft picks in the middle, and that obviously hurts. That stings. But if you look at it from Atlanta's perspective, if you look at the NFC South right now, the Bucs are in disarray. Brady is leaving. That team is getting old. They're going to be in total rebuild mode. The Saints don't know who their quarterback is, and they're like, 
$300 billion over the salary cap. They're, they're going to be in some kind of reshuffling mode. It's going to take them a couple of years. The Carolina Panthers, they don't have a quarterback. They just hired a new coach. They got a good defense, but I don't think they're going to turn around and be a you know world beater anytime soon. The Atlanta Falcons are some stability at the quarterback position away from running away with this division in 2023 and probably 2024 as well. This is actually a really strong opportunity for Atlanta. And I would argue that giving up two first round picks, hey, giving up two first and two number twos to get Jackson, to get two division titles, maybe more may be the right move to make. I think it probably would, especially when you look at the fact that Arthur Smith has had a lot of success with quarterbacks that can run and move. Obviously, Jackson would be the best one he's ever had, but he, he turned Marcus Mariota in Tennessee, went to the playoffs with him, was the offensive coordinator. The Atlanta Falcons offense last year with Mariota and Ritter could run the ball very effectively, and Jackson is a better passer than both Ritter and Mariota. And look, we're not saying give up on Ritter. We're not saying Ritter's trash. We're just saying that Lamar Jackson is a known commodity that you know would obviously be a massive upgrade that would put probably put you in the playoffs tomorrow so i think with that in mind that's the move you make because if you look at the nfc just the broader picture outside of philly outside of san francisco who, who do you have do you trust dak prescott in dallas no i mean who knows what's gonna happen in the nfc north that's a wild west out there right the the nfc uh the nfc west like i said it's really just san francisco seattle who's who knows what's going to happen there right nfc east philly looks good but they could be a one-off right the nfc south like i already said has a lot of issues so this could be a great opportunity for atlanta with one trade big trade mind you to immediately become the number three or number 14 in the nfc and make a real run not just to win divisions but to make deep playoff runs i think with that in mind they could really pull this off i'm really curious to see where this goes because i think we're seeing a lot of momentum build in this direction